What's going on guys, it's Jamie here from the FM Hub, back posting another video today on FM Scout TV. Once again today we have a very straightforward tutorial, we're not using the editor this time, this time we're actually making some graphical changes to the Football Manager skin and what we're going to do is change the colour of the attributes in Football Manager 2016. If you don't know what I mean, we'll go through an example right now. First thing we'll do is just load up any old player. Uh, Alexis Sanchez for instance, you can see that uh, the colours are quite tough on the eye sometimes, it's hard to sort of notice um, what stats are exceptional and, and what are poor and really there's no functional purpose for this apart from looking easier on the eye and what I think looks better at instantly analysing how good a player actually is and his key stats. So we're going to change the colour of these digits by here. That can be done by opening up a game, going to the FM menu in the top right, scrolling down to preferences and hitting that. In the top left now, under preferences, hit uh, interface, and then you have these four bars here, and we have, uh, you can see attributes. Now, you can also change the attribute thresholds if you wish. I think 16 and over is pretty fair. No, I'll change it. I'll say, like that, there we are. So 5 is average, 10 is good, 15 is excellent. I'm going to change the colours, so excellent can go as a nice green colour. We'll put good as a... Um, blue and then average as an orange and low attribute as a red um, obviously this will you, you can decide whatever you want to do for this because some people will have different skins um, so certain things won't look as good but just hit confirm then once you've adjusted them you can go and adjust anything else you want but I like I just like adjusting the attributes I think it's a nice little useful thing you can do to make it look a little bit nicer and then what you can do is then head over to your other player and I have a look at uh, how it makes a difference. And of course it doesn't make a huge difference. It's not a game-changing difference in Football Manager 2016. But I think it adds a nice little element, personally, of uh, personalization. You can do whatever colour you please. With the colours I have now, I think it's just a lot nicer to see his good stats in a nice bright green colour. And then his poor stats in a red colour. This isn't the best example, just because um, he's quite good. So we'll check out someone else. You can see, these aren't good examples. Let me find a better example here. Um, of someone we perhaps know everything about. Um, let's check out the squad. Really, this is useful for if you're flicking through lots of players and you instantly want to look on their profile and see who is uh, really good. So, for instance, you can see lots of greens here. Also, easier to see the blues and the oranges. No reds there, which is pretty impressive. But all this is a useful little tool. A little short tutorial video for you today because, personally, I didn't know how to do this. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, I just didn't know how to do this in Football Manager. So uh, I thought I'd make a, a little three-minute video to help you guys learn and understand how to change the attribute colours. Change it to whatever you please. You can also adjust any other skill uh, elements in there. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to FM Scout TV. If you have any questions or things I haven't covered, then please do leave a comment, and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash FM Hub, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye for now.